Our next session in Adobe Illustrator uh, in our character design series here is about mouths. And you see some samples here that I've put together. And this is a little bit like the eye session. I'm going to ask you to design three different mouths and they have to be unique. And I do have a couple of ideas, a couple little tricks that I want to show you uh, that might help you along. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and just make a new artboard here. I'll click File, I'll click New, and again, I'm going to orient it in landscape orientation, but you can decide either way is okay with this, so I'll just click OK there. All right, now the first thing I'll do is something kind of similar to this one that you see up here at the top left-hand side. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draw a uh, just kind of an oval, kind of like that, and I'll make the outline of that just a little bit thicker. And that's going to help us see this a little better. Now I'm going to take the black arrow tool and I'm going to all drag that so I have another copy. And again, this is one of those times where just to make it a little easier to see what I'm doing, I'm going to color that a little bit differently. Okay, now I'm going to take this one and make it a little bit bigger. And I want it to kind of overlap, and maybe not be quite yeah, a little flatter here. I'm flattening that out some. I want it to be a little bit flatter. Okay, so you see what I've got here. I've got this um, this white circle that is overlapped by this blue circle. And I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to go to the Window menu and I'm going to get my Pathfinder here. And I'm going to do a minus front. The blue circle is going to punch through and the blue circle is going to disappear. That leaves me with this shape. Now this would make a good smile or if you just rotate it, it kind of makes a nice frown or angry face as well. So you could do it either way. Move the Pathfinder over here for a minute. Now, I'm going to go over here and activate that Draw Inside feature that we talked about in the last movie. So I'll click on Draw Inside, and I'm going to get the Line Tool. And really, all I want to do here is just drag some lines. First of all, I want to drag one that kind of goes across like that, about like that. These are going to look like gridded teeth. You know, and I'm going to draw, drag a line that goes down this way. And remember, because I'm doing draw inside, the lines are only showing up inside that shape that I first created by using the Pathfinder. So now I can just kind of drag down like this. And they don't have to be all perfect. They're supposed to be kind of cartoony anyway. So they don't have to be like they've been to the orthodontist and be all perfect here. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to switch back to the draw normal mode. And... When you do a draw inside thing like I just did, that's really kind of grouped together for you automatically. You know, when you move it around, it all kind of goes together. So I've kind of got that, you know, that frowny, angry looking mouth there with gritted teeth. Now, if you flipped it upside down, it would look like a big toothy smile, but that just depends on the kind of character that you're trying to draw. All right, another uh, little trick that I want to show you here is, you know, that whole idea of using black as an interior color. So uh, let's do this. I'm going to um, kind of just draw a, a big circle like that and then uh, kind of another circle that is going to go on top of that. And this second circle here, I'm just going to fill it up with any old color. It doesn't matter. I'm doing a similar thing right now to what I did before here. I've got this you know, this big uh, white circle that's sticking down here, and I've got the green circle on top of it. I'm going to select both of those and do a minus front, and that leaves me with this shape. I'm going for more of a smile kind of look this time. All right, now, this time I want to fill this with black, so I'm going to choose a fill color of black like that. And then I'm going to switch to the draw inside mode once again, and I'm going to draw, I'm going to take a circle here. And I, I want this to kind of look like a tongue that's laying inside here. So I'm going to kind of draw a little, you know, kind of an oval like that. Now, right now, that is filled with black, and I don't want it to be filled with black, so I'm going to fill it with red. All right? So that's a little bit better. I like that a little better. And that's kind of looking pretty good. Now, I could take that, I could double click on that that red tongue and maybe squeeze it in that way just to I think I'm going to like that even a little bit better. Uh, and then I could double click to get back out of that. So you see the kind of thing I'm getting. Now if you, sometimes people like these little corner, um, these kind of little corner dealy doos and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to use the arc tool, stroke that up to be a little bit thicker and maybe come over here to the, to the stroke uh, panel and cap that. 
uh, so it's round. And I'll take the uh, the select tool and I'm going to bring that up to that corner there and uh, just have to get my rotation the way I want. Okay, that's getting better. Right about like that and just kind of nudge that. You can use your arrow keys on your keyboard too to kind of nudge something. And you see what it, it's like a dimple on the, the side of a smile. You can do that kind of thing and I can alt drag this to make a copy and then I could right click and do transform and do reflect and uh, move that over and I'll say yeah that looks okay but I need to move it a little bit now and just kind of move it over here and move it up some. I'm just tapping the arrow keys on the keyboard to slide that around so you see what I get there. Now again you know this time I might want to group this because these little dimple marks here that I have on the corner of the mouth are um, separate. They're separate objects. So I'm going to go to the object menu and I'm going to group those and that way this mouth all stays together all the time whenever I go to move it around or whatever. Okay, So that's two mouths that I've got done here. Now uh, I want to show you a little bit about this idea of making some some real like lip sticky lips like I've got down here on this this first sample. Alright this is going to start off just by making kind of an oval like this. And it could be filled up, you know, I'm going to go up here and get this kind of pinkish color from the top and then I might turn, tone that stroke down a little bit. It's kind of thick. Alright, now this this oval has four anchor points, top, bottom, left, and right, and the, the white arrow tool, which we've talked about a little bit, can help you alter those anchor points. I'm going to take this top middle anchor point and kind of slide it down some like this. All right. Now I'm also going to do something else with that and that is I'm going to convert it. Now when you select an anchor point like, like this uh, on the control handle up here, the control uh, panel, you'll see these convert options here. Well right now this is kind of, I want to convert that to a kind of a, a corner point and then I can pull these handles up on the side and, and look at the shape that I'm starting to get here. Oh, see, I'm starting to get that kind of lip-like shape there. kind of like the way that that's starting to work for me a little bit. And I can, I can alter, you know, again, by using the white arrow, I can grab these, um, these, these handles, these anchor points, and kind of move them around. And you'll see them, I mean, if you look closely, you have to kind of look close to find them in there. And you can pull these handles and kind of reshape things a little bit. And so that's starting to look fairly decent. And to kind of finish this off, I could take a paintbrush and just kind of sweep right across like that. Kind of give me the division line between those two lips. And, you know, if I, if I took a little bit more time, I might get that a little bit better, but it's not too bad. Um, you know, I could maybe convert this corner handle here to... Oh, no, don't want to do that. All right, Control-Z. Um, but that doesn't look too bad. I don't know. It looks a little froggy to me, but not bad. You get the idea. So with a little experimentation, maybe you can come up with something that's lipsticky if that's what you're going for. But anyway, the goal here is to create three different mouths that are all unique, and, and you can see some others that I did here. So um, lots of possibilities. Just see what you can come up with. And when you get them done, you're going to go File, and you're going to go Save As. And again, for this movie, I am not connected to my network drive. If I go over here to Computer and I'm looking for Drive H, I'm, I'm not connected to my network drive right now. So uh, you would save it on Drive H. I'll just do it on my local disk E. And just call this Mouth, M-O-U-T-H, or you can put an S on it if you want, Mouths and save that and then once it's all finished you would drag it and drop it into your turn in folder on um, drive l on the courses drive all right so that's your goal on this one create three different mouths of three different styles make them unique and have at it off you go